This is Upgrade, and I'm your host, Frank the Tank. Hey, I have a mono price printer. It's a, it's a pretty top printer right now on Amazon. It's four out of five stars, and I can just say it's under 200 bucks. So don't miss out. Stay tuned, and we're gonna unwrap it right here in front of you and upgrade. Well, let's start. Uh, that box is pretty heavy right off the bat. So just to let you know, there was another package on top of this one, so it came pretty secure. But first of all, you do get a thank you for the order. This actually came from China, I believe. So it's it's manufactured in China and it's being pushed right now. But it's th whoa, 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 whoa. I think I opened it the wrong way. It's being advertised all over the world right now. And um, it's pretty big right now. And oh, look, they gave us some filament for, I guess, one little small print. So that's not bad off the bat. So first box I um uh, I opened on the top, it's the power cord, of course. Because with all this foam right built in, oh, real nice setup. Um, there's uh, another box here that includes the actual power cord, <laughs> SD card, a mini SD card. This, uh, I guess, it has a, a couple of components you can print out of. Um, they have a USB for transferring from your computer, and they got this little metal piece that we'll find out what it stands, what it is for. So, oh. There's a little one of those things to pull out the 3D print out after it's done. So it's a little spatula kind of thing. Just kind of it's it's cheap material, it's a little plasticky. Let's stand this sucker up here. Oh man, it's not a massive um, printer, but um, it looked big in the internet. Of course, you know, of course, for under 200 bucks. Um, top choice right now. Uh, it comes with tape, pre-taped right now. It's not that bad. Uh, there's a couple items stuck to it. There's a little fan in here. Uh, everything seems like it's it's all completed and ready to go off the box. You don't have to plug in anything else. All you got to do is plug and play. Uh, the filament uh, actually goes up here. So uh, there is no roller. But there is a brace, I guess, and, and I guess this is oh, this is part of it. Oh, I get it now. Welcome to the club, Frank. <laughs> so it pretty much hangs in there. That's what that little metal piece is. And, and I did purchase some extra filament because it, it was recommended because um, what they give you here, it's not enough for you what you want to print and you're going to want more. So make sure if you're going to order something like this, order some extra one. It's mentioned that this printer reads all the filaments and it's pretty much fits in the system. So there's a form for it right now going on. It's pretty strong. And um, I have read some of the stuff that was going through and people were actually pleased with this machine for 200 bucks. It's not a bad deal. Um, what is, I mean, what it's good for, it's gonna be for a home use, uh, testing the first printer you get for 200 bucks and at least move on to the next expensive one because um, all these printers are pretty pricey, but the more printers are out there, 3D printers, the cheaper and the better they get. So I can't wait to turn this sucker on and give it a try. And it looks very, it's pretty heavy as it is. Um, the form is pretty, pretty um, extended with all this information. I mean, there's how to improve this machine, how to make it print faster and better, how to add attachments. I mean. When I read about this, I was like, it sold me for two under 200 bucks. And um, what I'm going to use it for is I'm going to print out a couple of models for work or other businesses. I mean, for dem demo templates. Uh, we're going to test it out before I even purchase the next version of it. That's why I, I, I'm not familiar with 3D printing. So this is a perfect step for someone like me. Learn this machine. You like what you see. Then you move to the next step. But... I might end up building my second machine if I read more about it, if I learn more about it. So for $200, it's a great start to start learning how to print in 3D. I mean, beginner. I'm a beginner. This is a beginner's machine. So this is a little awesome little device we have in here. And it's, 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 I like the smoothness of it. It looks like. They took their well time to build this. It has little springs in here. Um, there's tape on the nozzle in case it moves on the shipping. 
which is not that bad an idea because I know this is pretty sensitive, of course. Uh, there's all these little things that are ready for you to go. And I see all the electronics well tuck, tucked in. I don't see anything sticking out. Power cords in the back. Power on, power off. Uh, this machine is, it looks well made. It's just, it's perfect for a beginner, like I said. You don't have to install anything, but the filament, pretty much. Hang it in the corner, put it through a little straw, make sure it sucks in all the way through. Once it starts dripping, you're set or go. So before I even start printing, I wanted to test it out and turn it on, make sure, because you have to align the system. So you have to teach the system how to actually not touch the metal piece part. And then right now it comes with pre-tape right now, which is perfect. If that's what the, they were talking about before, make sure there's tape in there. Um, on the heated plate, of course. Uh, I learned a lot just by reading about it and seeing videos similar to this. What my next step is gonna be is I wanna try to print um, some of the demo that's included on the 3D printing. Um, but that's gonna take some time. I mean, it does. it's not, don't think that you're gonna make something in half an hour, unless you're gonna print something basic. Uh, this might take you half an hour pretty much but if you're gonna print something larger than maybe two inches I take you 40 minutes you know the best there's not the quickest machine out there but for 200 bucks it's just it shouldn't be the quickest machine it should be the beginners machine so I'm pretty sure the next step will be faster and better um, top pick right now what's going on it's just all around good reviews uh, for like I said 200 dollars I'm just gonna keep repeating it 200 bucks you can't beat the price it, it's something it's a good machine to learn and for beginners it has my approval seal just to begin with because I don't have to add anything pretty much it's out of the box and it's ready to set up and go which I wish everything was like this memory cards video cards off the box just put them and ready to go set them and forget it <laughs> so great machine to just look at and um, I just need to start testing it out and you'll see more of my review on uh, the next video or this video if I can include some more if you have any questions regarding this machine you know always go to YouTube put your comments in there I'm, I'm I'll be glad to reply back um, my recommendations maybe buy two of these you know because I know the first time I'm gonna start playing with this this won't last me I'm gonna burn this out so quick so because I want to get familiar with it go along with it I'm a little late to the show but it's it's a great start to begin with like I said and um, my first 3d model for for me uh, I can't wait to, to test it out and let you know more about it so if you like what you see please subscribe I need subscribers subscribe and um, make this show possible um, please tell me if you have any questions on this model uh, we do have a Twitter we have a Facebook um, you're welcome to put any comments there too please subscribe and if I get 10,000 subscribers I'm gonna give one of these machines away I guarantee you so please make this show possible and subscribe uh, if you like what you see let me know if you want to see new items new hardware let me know I will have them in the show and then please subscribe thank you very much I'm Frank the Tank and this is Upgrade